And I told him that's crazy. Cosmic intervention. Completely innovative, creative. It was magnetic. It was fucking frightening. Second. It was really fertile. It was like really, it was like things could, could be born here. Creative insanity on steroids that was brilliant. Heaven. It was exciting. Life changing. Chicago just seemed to be a, a mecca for music at that point. But none of us knew what the fuck we were doing. We had bands from all over the country, or people, artists, musicians, moving from all over the country to Chicago. It was not music you just stood around and, you know, kind of checked out. There was definitely the sense that, um, that something new was happening. It wasn't like Chicago was just looking at everybody else. You know, the other two taste-making scenes in the States, LA and New York, industrial didn't have a home there so much as did in Chicago. Yeah, I'm sorry, Arista Records. I'm sorry, Warner Brothers Records. You came to the party too late. The fun had happened. It was being made here, it was being performed here, and it was being historically preserved here. People just shit their pants. Recording in Chicago tracks. Jeez. <laughs> it's like a dream and a nightmare and I don't know, we'd spend days there sometimes. That was one of those ridiculous studios. There was this energy, there was this insanity. Medusa's is probably about as important to music in this city, I think, as any single institution could actually be. It was all part of the same scene. Chicago tracks, Medusa's, Metro Smart Bar, that whole thing that happened in Chicago was a cosmic fluke. Whatever else says is true.